So you are not this body. First you should try to know. You will have to give up. If you are not vacating this, vacating, vacating this, then Jamdut will come. The messenger will come. At once they will kick you out from that. This house. One day you will have to vacate it. So, he is telling that we should try to realize this. Oh, if I will give it, I am giving whole energy to realize these things that I am so, then how I will manage my life, maintaining, maintaining my life? Don't be worried. Don't worry. In this world, all one's happiness, all one's happiness. No one wants but suffering, suffering. And suffering. Any of you, you want suffering in life? Anyone? We take wine. Why? To forget our troubles, problems. We go to see, take bath, we marry, we do any job, we murder anyone. Why? Only that, that we will be happy. So everyone wants happy. But it is sure that whether Krishna or God is there or not, but one thing is true. What that? Death is sure. Death is sure. And we have seen daily, 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 so many, so many. And also, one thing is also true for sufferings in this life. Without any labor without any intifar, quickly suffering will come, death will come. Now you are so happy and so beautiful, but old ways will come and take all beauties. So it is true. So if you are not doing anything, for sufferings, but sufferings are coming, troubles are coming, and we'll have to enjoy that. So if there is happy, happiness, anything, it will come automatic. Not doing, not doing any endeavor or labor for that. If sufferings are coming automatic, happiness also will come automatically. So don't be worried for that. Try to uh, chant and remember that, you know, for eternal you can be happy. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu first telling that Kesha grasata bhagasya sadha kalpitasya cha bhago jiva sabigya sacha ananta We are not this body. We are part and parcel of Supreme Godhead. But now it is covered with Maya, illusory Maya. And until the Maya is there covering our this soul, we will always be suffering. So many but problems there. Birth and death. Endless. A chain of repeated birth and death will be there. So, we are so very fine. If our hair will be divided into lakhs parts and again that one part will be divided into lakhs parts, it is very, it is not possible. But even we can do this by like scientific scientist methods now, it may be, but more fine than that, Atma is. 
So, anyhow, it has been covered with illusory maya. And we are knowing now that we are human beings. We are women, we are men, we are male, we are female, we are trees, we are this mountain, we are rivers, we are trees, creepers, and we are all happy in that. <coughs> but having so much distance and suffering also. But we are accustomed to be happy. Like to take wine is not good. But we take, we take wine and we fell down in a very dirty drain and dogs may come wash our mouths. How? By, by hot water coming from there. <laughs> and we think that, oh, we are monarch of all. <laughs> <laughs> but we think that we are happy. Once Indra, by any his offenses to his Guru Dev, he became hog or pig. And here in this world, he has so many wives, hundreds and thousands of children. And he was here and there making merry everywhere, sometimes in drain, sometimes taking so fresh, fresh meals. <laughs> and happy. Brahma was going anywhere and he saw that oh, Indra is in that shape. Oh, Indra, why you are roaming here and there with so many sufferings, taking stoles and urines, bathing in dirty, Friends, <coughs> oh, I am not in the, I am, what I am, I am happy with my children and wives. No, you will have to come to heavenly heaven heavenly. and there is nectar. nectar to take and very beautiful garden, Nandan Kanan there, no death, no birth, nothing, always young, very beautiful, tiny age. So you should come. Oh, no, never. <laughs> I cannot give up my children and wives. Oh, <coughs> if I go, then with all my children and wives, and if there is any delicious food like here, there, always, no, no, there is nothing. There is only <laughs> nectar. <laughs> when he be, did not become ready, <coughs> at once he took some water from his Come in, Dalu, and spring come. And at once he said, Oh, I am so beautiful. No. Then he told that if you are not going alone, that I will do. And he began to kill one, one, one after another all his child. And he, when he wanted to attack Brahma, he used to go high in his car. So that's all children sickle. And after that, oh, again, there are my so many wives. Again, one one will give fifty fifty, and then again like that. No heart. I don't want to go to that. At once he killed all his wives and sprinkled water on him with mantra for food. And here are like that. I'm. Oh, I must go at once. I will not delay. So we are like all this. We are thinking that, oh, we are very happy in Hawaii, on the coast of ocean, oh, beautiful mountains, so many fruits, so many trees, creepers, and we are happy. But happy for how many minutes? You will have to give up. You have to vacate this. And where you go, no, no, no one. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling to Rupa Goswami, in this world, Tarmadhe sthavar jangam duibhe, 
jangam trijak jale jalachara there are numerous endless jivas souls in this world so many we cannot count uh, can you count how many uh, we are here how many oh yes not more than 100 about 50 55 are like this but if you will take one drop of blood from here and we will see in any powerful glass microscope micro then we will see that endless numberless so many forms like wow they are all souls grasses all the grasses are so all the trees in trees so many fruits and in fruits so many seeds all has separate 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 of so we can even in a drop how many souls are there we cannot count but they are divided into two what power and jungle what power jungle moving and non moving moving and non what is moving we are moving hmm? uh, animals can move birds can move they are like that and one that that trees creepers mountain they cannot move so two kinds of the souls and in them tirja jalachar sthalachar so many kinds of we have seen that only fishes once we went to singapore singapore and a museum santosa island aquarium aquarium and we saw lakhs and lakhs kinds of fishes lakhs and lakhs only fishes what to tell crocodiles start wise and Snake. so many snakes and ghoda ghoda means horse my water horse see 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 so many. and in this land who are moving here and there lakhs kinds of bird lakhs kinds of human not human in this form only one lakhs and lakhs kinds of humans are in this world so in that we are one of them in that do supreme humans are like those who are following varnashram dharma knowing vedic culture having so much mercy <coughs> to all they don't eat flesh don't wine never toxications and cigarette and all other things like i have not taken any of this in my whole life from birth so these are some part more advanced advanced in them if they are not chanting and remembering not remembering their life is useless so in those who are following vedic culture having so much mercy to all not taking place and wine and all other things in them some are like bauddh some like jain what is bauddh world has come from zero and again it will be zero still he is like zero everything is false nothing but this is a wrong idea there are so many jain there are so many others 
some are that they believe in God, but by mouth only, not by their actions. They know that God is everywhere. God means G, generator, O, operator, D, destroyer. But we don't believe, only believe by mouth. He is controller of the whole world. He has created this world. He is nursing this world. And he is so merciful, we tell like, like mouth, but don't believe in that. Otherwise, we have served him. We don't want the, his mercy. We want that we can know how to make bum, how to control others. They don't believe that he controls all. They never. So they, they don't believe in that God. Only by mouth only. In them, there are so many karmi, sat karmi. Sat karmi, you know? What is sat karmi? Doing pious activities. Mode of goodness. Huh? People in mode of goodness. Satoguni law. Pious activities. And in them, gyanis are more superior. Gyani means? Oh. I am not this body. We are so. And by gyan, knowledge, we can be renounced from this world and liberated and we can become one in God. There are so many. And in them, very rare are Krishna Bhakta. Very rare. In Krishna Bhakta, Prajapakta are very rare. And in them, Dasya is very rare. In that, Sakya is so rare. In Sakya, lakhs and lakhs Sakya, one Vasalya, like Jasuda Maya and Nanda Baba, very rare. And in lakhs and lakhs Vasalya mode, very rare is Brajbhav, like Gopis. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him that this is the object. We love in them, in Brajabhasi, like Jasoda Maya, more than that in Gopi. The love for Krishna is high, supreme. This is our object. But how to attend this? Very easy, very easy. We don't want to follow. So we will explain it in tomorrow class. Go for now. Shila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Maharaj Ki. Radhe Radhe Go.
बन बिहारी लाल की
ज्ञानतिरांधस्य ज्ञानंजनशलाकया चक्षुरुन्मीलितंजीन तस्मे श्रीगुरवे नम वंशाकलपतुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नमन गौरत्शे भक्तियापराधलख्य क्षिप्ता कामादितरंगम्य कृपाई तां शरण प्रपन्न वृंदे नुमस्ते चरण यं प्रव्रजतमुपेतमेतम द्वैपायनो विरह का पुत्रे तन्मयतयातर्वोदो तं सर्वूतहृद मुनिमा तवैवास्मी तवैवास्मी मुनिमाधे नयमा कैसे पुस्तक ऐसे लगा है मैं कैसे कर बाहर से ले आओ उधर से सामने से फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई ऑफ आर हार्डली डन टच प्रणाम इन द लॉर्ड ऑफ स्पीड ऑफ माय स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर ओम विष्णु पाद शिष्य मत भक्ति प्रज्ञान के सब गुस्सा और माय शिक्षा गुरु नित्य लीला प्रविष्ट ओम विष्णु पाद शिष्य मत भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज बाय देयर मर्सीज I'm coming here, and so many devotees are here. Some coming with me in whole my team, and some are of this kind. But I know the background and the platform has been made only by Swami Ji. On that platform, we are doing something. So, after getting my Ganga Pranam, I want to say something. I explain Shrimad Bhagavatam. In morning class, I told about something from Chaitanya Nitya Kamal. Now, I'm. Explaining something from Shiva Bhagavan. First of all, you should know that Krishna has not descended to this world only for putana, agasur, bakasur, killing, killing them, or he has not come only for. The battle of Mahabharat in that twenty lakhs of persons were killed. Also, he had not come for 
Agasur Bakasur Putana and after that Kal Javan, Kansa, Sisupal and all others. These are external something. Really he came to give this world love and love of Raja. To play with his associates Nand Baba, Jasoda Maya, Shidam, Subal, Gopis, and special. And to sprinkle something to so many kinds of devotees, newcomers, beginners, those who have achieved the bhav for them to be praying, those who have not come so at that stage to give them like Sabdha, Nishtha, Ruchi, Ashakti, Ashakti. But especially he, he came to this world only to enjoy love and affection of Raja and to show all world, to show Narada, Subhadeva Swami, Vyasdev and all others how supreme this love and affection of Raja is. I think generally <coughs> common devotees cannot realize all these things. They only realize that he has come only for establishing Varnasham Dharma. You know Varnasham Dharma? Varnasham Dharma, he, this is the basis of love and affection and everything. If you are not established in Varnasham Dharma, it is very, very hard to realize all these things. If a woman and husband always change their wives and husbands, they can understand. All are making merry by taking wives enjoying wealth, sense gratifications. They cannot realize all this. So Swamiji also wanted to establish Varnasham Dharma. And that is why in Gita Nagari, in Saranagati, in New Vrindavan, in Mayapur, he wanted to establish, but I think his own disciples, senior most, they don't try to follow. Never. If a lady, a girl, has touched anyone by his, her mind that I will marry him, like Draupadi, like Sita, like others, Gargi, they cannot touch anyone in whole, their whole life. Husband should be like Sita, Draupadi, like others, and husband should be like Ram. He never took any lady, only Sita. Though Sita was in dense forest, but yet he used to Worship the ideals of idol, a statue of Sita. But never he married again. In lakhs and lakhs worth we are being a pig, hog, sugar, or donkey. Hens, hens, you know, hens, chicken. Always engaged in that. And again in a human body, say. Again you are going to that. So be like that. If a man is or woman is was married once and we living with her, that lady, it is like Brahmacharya. 
in India, we see that if any girl is to be married to any boy, but anyhow the marriage was not done, husband did, then girl never accepted any other girl, any husband, never. Whole life he became like Brahmachari. Why? This human body is not for only marrying and giving children like hands and pigs. Never, never. It is only to realize Krishna and realize so Priya. If Hanuman can be Brahmachari, Visham Pitamaha can be Brahmachari, if Sukadeva Goswami, Narada Goswami, so many Gadadhar Pandit, so why we can not be? We can be. We should say that our this human shape has been given by Krishna. He has given mercifully this, not to be like animals. Never don't do. Try to be one of that. This life is for Krishna. So if any girl or any boy were to be married and it was fixed, but anyhow the marriage got not done. Or if marriage is there and after one month husband died, in the age of twenty, girl will never, 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 never accept any other. Why? Because the life is not for enjoyment, sense gratification, for lust. In this only human shape, we can have Krishna consciousness. Associations, good and and we can chant and remember Krishna, otherwise no. And in any other, being animal, birds or anything, you are free to do all these things. So why in this one, in this human state, only we should try to realize this Krishna? How we can chant more? So, you see, in the Krishna Lila, once Krishna was going to praise cows, with his lakhs and lakhs covered for, and lakhs and lakhs of cows. Brahma was not qualified to count their cows, how many cows. Then he used to go. One day <laughs> he came to Bhandir Bhatt. Today in morning we went to walk and saw a very big banyan tree. Very big. Now so many trunks have been and more than this place. So with so much shade. But that tree was only seven miles up high, only seven miles and more than seven miles, fourteen miles covered. And the tree benches were going across Jamuna river, Jamuna river one mile breadth. And the Branches like that, and they were uh, doing the work of bridge. Boys, very little boys, covered boys, used to play, going across river and coming, and playing hide seek and so many things. Once they were hungry, and Krishna told that. Oh, Jamuna is flying very sweetly. 
very sweetly and gently. Lot of flowers are there. Bees are hanging. And there is a very big shade of this tree, Bandir Bhatt. So we should take our dinner here. Breakfast or dinner? Lunch. Lunch. Lunch here. Krishna sat in the middle and then in his right side, Baldev. And others, Dham, Sidam, Sudam, Vasudam. Like a ring, circle, one ring, circle. circle. One circle, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Thousands of circles, bigger than one, bigger, one after. The boy who was in the behind, on the back of Krishna, miracle. He was saying that I am in front of Krishna, very near. Those were very far away inside, this side, this side. They saw that we are very nearer to Krishna. We are giving and taking some fruits and all vegetables and bread and butter and all these things. All were so happy. Those who are very far away, they thought that, oh, we are very near to this. How it became? In this world, it is impossible. But for Yoga Maya, the power of Krishna, nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. Day and night can be at a time. Sun and moon can be at a time, they can shine, no harm. Everything is possible. So it became possible. <coughs> Cows were grazing on the bank of the Very rich grasses were there. Very beautiful green grasses. Whole field was covered with green sweet grasses. They were taking. And all the boys were taking bread, butter, that has been sent by their mothers from their homes. When they were playing, joking, laughing each other and taking a prasadam. Sometimes Krishna did a joke to Madhumanita. He took some pakauri, you know, pakauda, pakauri. What pakauri? More, more loudly? Mm. <laughs> Usually it is made of bacon. Bacon. Brinjal or potato. But Krishna took the brinjal from inside and ate and gave a very powerful chili. Hot, hot chili, very poisonous like. <laughs> but not poison. And put inside. And he took half only outer part. And he gave it to Madhmangara, so happy. And he at once began to chew and hear. And began to be all loud. <laughs> So, like this, he became so angry and told that I will give you a cause. I am Brahmin son, you know, <laughs> taking this. Oh, I am a Brahmin. <laughs> I will cause you and you will die at once. <laughs> Baldev Prabhu, oh, request, ah, not to do. <laughs> you can call it, you are Brahmin son. <laughs> are you not Brahmin son like this? They were doing all these things. I am taking, testing. In the meantime, cows, always they want to be in front of Krishna. Their eyes and mouth always towards Krishna. But today, they were grazing and they saw that. Oh, beautiful grass is further away. Further away. So they took their mouth against Krishna. 
opposite. And they began to see that, oh, more sweet and green grasses are further, further, further. And thus they began very far away, where there was no butter. Very hot day. Sun was shining on head. The suns began to be very, very hot. If anyone can give any corn in them at once, so cows were entering there and there were a dense forest of some dry grass, long, long grass, tall long, long grass, <coughs> which can be burnt very easily in fire. So they entered. Now there are so much hungry and so much thirsty. Here they were feeling so much hot. On the ground, ground was burning, and upside heat so much hot. What to do? And they were they had no any way to return to Krishna. They. उसी में भूल गई। वाली, onward, onward, going, but not returning any way. Then Krishna saw where our guys are grazing. I saw that they are grazing here, but now not. We became so interested in playing and taking our meals, but where are cows? Oh. We should search, otherwise we will lost. This is our wealth, cow wealth. So if we will return without cows, what our father and mother will tell? So we should search people. Krishna told that you should be here, I am going to search. But that never heard of Krishna. Only Krishna and Baldev were there and all they became opposite to Krishna and the time falling cows. Understanding what I am telling? But they have no permission from Krishna. And their mouth was also opposite to Krishna. What meaning? They went away from Krishna. They kept Krishna behind them. Their face they, was turned away. Yeah. Their face was turned away. They turned away from Krishna. Ah. Like forgetting Krishna. They also went there searching, following their hopes, hopes and grass coming from their mouths, little, little cut. And they went up. They also forgot their way to return. And in the meantime, any demon from Kans was sent there to make fire there. At one city, the grasses, long, long grasses, were dry, and at once, quickly, fire went everywhere here. Whole forest was burning. Very long, long, <laughs> high <laughs> flames went <on. coughs> And they were surrounded by that fire. Any might not there to save them. In a moment they will die, <coughs> they will burn. Sing no <coughs> means to escape, to be saved. They began to call, Oh Krishna, Oh Baladev Prabhu, Shivas. Very dangerous. Fire is everywhere, in all sides. We cannot be saved. To save us. In the meantime, Krishna came at once and Baladev Prabhu. Krishna told, 
close your eyes. At once. Five close. That Krishna is going to drink all the fire like water, cool water. But if his friends will see that he is taking fire, eating fire, drinking fire, they may die. Or they will go to Mother Jasoda and tell that Krishna has taken fire and then Jasoda Maya will testify me. I remember one day I took some earth and they complained to my mother and my mother chastised me so much. So I remember. So I should not make them see what I am doing. He told that. At once you should close your eyes. And when they close their eyes, why they close, obeyed Krishna? Because they were dying all. And also that Krishna knows some mantra. And he is powerful in mantra. So mantra shouldn't be told in any open, open public. So Krishna wants to chant this mantra alone. So we should obey him. Otherwise we will all die. At once they close their eyes. And Krishna did like this. Whole fire in a second came in the mouth of Krishna. How? Like snow. Very cool water like. And all the water, fire was extinguished at once. And Krishna told, Oh, now fire is extinguished. You can open your eyes. They opened their eyes, but they were very hmm? wondering, <coughs> surprised. Where is Pasha? Oh, where we are? Whether we are seeing dream or what thing? They saw that they are sitting on the same place under the shade of that bhandir butter of oh, very cool place. Jamna is flowing gently, very sweetly. And they were taking prasadam. Cows also, they saw that they are sitting in the shade of that tree and they are doing jobbing. What? Chewing. Chewing. Like this. Very happily. What happened? Are we seeing dream? Or actually it was? They could not believe that oh, that very big fire was there and they were going to die. But at once they are seeing very pleasant. They are sitting, taking their milk. Cows are like sleeping and making chewing. What happened? Let come to explain this story. Actually, it was done there. We are loud cow, cows. <coughs> the word go has so many meanings. Go means cow. Go means cow herds bar. Go means cow cuffs. Go Indriya senses. We have eleven senses. Go Vedas. Go Prithivi, Earth. Go intelligence. Go Gyan knowledge. So many. So here go. Go means here all the senses. We have ten, eleven senses. Five, Gyan. Knowledge, knowledge. Huh? Knowledge, acquiring. knowledge acquiring. 
And five, oh, Gopinath Prabhu Hai. Gopinath Prabhu Ki. I want that he should be given water and some sweet thing, juice or anything. Or he will be here for a moment and then we will. Oh, yes, sir, see. Ah, also see. You can take here. Yes, sir. Oh, we are happy to have Gopinath in Vrindavan. Oh, yes. Then, five Karmendriya. Working, working senses. Senses. And five? Knowledge acquired. Knowledge. This ten and one mind. Eleven. Where <coughs> all these senses are making great... Yeah? Graphic. Graphic. Making merry. Drawing this world. Testing all this. Then they are opposite to Krishna. And when they are serving to Krishna, then they are all liberated and they will be happy. <coughs> but anyone or all the senses, if they are not unmukh to Krishna, favorable to Krishna, not serving Krishna, not remembering, not chanting, not worshipping, not doing all these things, then they will be opposite. So if our senses all are opposite to Krishna, not directed to Krishna, not serving Krishna, then what will be? We will come to this world. This is a dense forest of what thing? Dry grass, no rush. We are like camels. <laughs> Camel, you know, they're all so big and so hard. They can take anything from upside, all going there. They like what they like. Why? If mango is there, they will not take. They cannot take berries. They cannot take other fruits, very sweet. They will go to that thorns and they will take it, chew it. Why? Oh, they will think that oh, very tasteful rush is coming. Juice. But wh what is that juice? Huh? Blood from their own mouth. But they are tasting, oh, very, very, very sweet juice. So those who are opposite to Krishna, not remembering, chanting Krishna, huh? not engage their senses in uh, realizing Krishna. So they are like candles. They like dogs. Why dogs? We can see that there was a dog, very clever. He thought that I am most intelligent in the whole world. Anyhow, he collected one dry bone. Dry bone. And some dry skin was there. Skin. Skin. Meat, but not chamra. Skin, skin. Skin. Dry only. Nothing was there. And he began to saw here. If any dog is here. My brothers are here or not. Watch him very. And he took it and ran away, like seeing he, he began to run. Where? Where there is no one there, in a pit or anywhere, and easily alone he will test that. But anyhow, some friends of that dog, they saw and they followed, more than ten or twenty, and began to bite that dog. 
so much blood coming here and there. And he, want, he never wanted to keep it. So he was running. But anyhow he saw that, oh, now I will die. They will bite me so. So quickly he gave up that and he took his tail like this <laughs> in his bag and he left it and became a side. And those who <coughs> took it and, and quickly running, all dogs began to follow that and he was only seeing what he could not. So we are like that. Anything which is very precious, we think, in this world, is like dry bone. And some, it may be dry skin in them. Nothing is there. So our senses are engaged in this thing. We can ask our father, mothers, are you happy? Were you happy in these things, marrying about five or ten or twenty girlfriends? Are you happy? Have you children? Yes. Now he is going to die. What he will tell, old man? He cannot tell that I am happy. Again you are telling, going, going to do same thing. Anyone in the age of 60. He asked me, Maharaj, can you tell me that I can, I am divorced, I should marry a, another person? Oh, I told that it depends on you. How many times you are married? She told that. I am in marriage about 10 times. <laughs> then you think that uh, in eleventh marriage you will be happy? <laughs> you cannot happy. So this is our senses are how uh, opposite to Krishna. We cannot be happy. So we are dragged to this world like imprisonment, like a very dense forest of dry oats and dry grasses. And demon man what? Maya. Jad Maya. Hmm? Have given fire in this world. How, what is that fire? What you are doing for your pleasure, all are turned into sufferings. I have I've heard here that this place was so beautiful. There was something original, of our original tribe. So much gold with them, so much gold. And they were happy. But some intelligent persons with military came from other side and they conquered without battle. And they saw that if we are going to oppose, then so much blood said will be there. It is very okay, good to be surrendered. And then, oh, we are thinking that we have come to this place and we have met and at home. But we don't know when Bhalkana will come and we will all die. So what we are doing for our pleasure, our taste, one day it becomes opposite to us. So there is a very big fire is there in this world. But is that endless, repeated, the chain of birth and death, oldness, suffering and sorrow, but we are not seen. We are going ahead, ahead, ahead. But anyhow, we are very fortunate. If a saint will come and advise that in this stage you should chant, you should call Krishna and Baldev Prabhu, they are eager to save you. 
but they have no clue to save you. They want some clue. That even you should call, Oh Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. But we have no time. We are taking wine. We are so much engaged in sense gratification, cigarettes, and so many things. And so many jobs, like a job. You know, in India, I, I know, uh, in Assam, silk and uh, silk wall. In a tree, they want to take a leaf to take, to eat, and making some round, 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 round from their own, and no door. Eh? And at last, they have no door to come out. And greedy persons, like very intelligent persons like we, we pluck it and collect so much. And then, what? Boil in hot water, very hot water. All die. They have nothing, no passage to come out. And all die. In the same way, we are making some traps for us. No door at all. Always engaged in sense gratifications from our own habit, own intelligence. But taking no door. Not calling, oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Day by day, we are going to be older, older, but all intelligence said, oh, make money, make money, make job, this job, that job, that job, without any door. Why not you are doing all these things with a strong chanting, remembering Krishna, and one day your all things will go away. And you will see by chanting, remembering, by following associations of Krishna, Devotees, you will see that, oh, we are in Guru Bandham. We will see like a dream that we have been to this world. Never we have gone to this world. You will see that, oh, how we are serving Krishna there. So please, like Jasoda Maya, Nanda Baba, hmm? Sridham, Subhul Sakha, like gopis, all this. So this world is like dream. So you should try to follow Krishna. But where is Krishna? We should follow devotees, true devotees. Those who are in true sense devotees, not running after money or any worldly thing or worldly, any desire. They had no desire. Only they had only desire and they were worried for us how quickly we can engage them in Krishna consciousness to save us, but we don't follow, don't want to follow them. We have no time to do all these things. So, you should try to follow Srimad Bhagavatam, especially this story. So all the stories, past times of Krishna, has so many deep meanings and so much instruction that if any holy pastime of Krishna we will follow, quickly we will be liberated. And chanting Naram Brahm Brahm, very quickly we will be liberated from this world. And, and we will go to follow. You know that Krishna one day with his friends, with Baldev. They were grazing cows in the mid middle of Mathura and Vrindavan. A smell of very good fruits of palm, palm, palm. palm fruits, very ripen, ripen, and very delicious, sweet, fragrant was. 
all the boys requested to Baldev Prabhu and Krishna. Today we are hungry and we are attacked by any very big demon and that demon has entered in our stomach. We have no room to or any way to save us. Can you kill that demon and save us? Then what Krishna and Balram did? What did? They went to... Come on here. So they... This past time it took place in um, Talban, um, where there were the um, palm, palm trees of King Kamsa. So Kamsa, he had his um, henchmen who were guarding um, the um, palm trees in the form of um, donkeys. So when Krishna and Bharam, they went to get the um, um, palm fruit from the trees, then these donkeys, they came and they started to attack um, Krishna and Balaram. So, at um, this point then, um, Krishna and Balaram, they got the donkeys by their hind legs and they were swinging them around and threw them up towards the trees. And, um, and, the, and the, the donkeys were flying hither and thither, here and there, towards the trees. And in this way, they were colliding with the trees, and the trees, they started to shake. The palm fruit was falling down. And the, the donkeys being thrown, the, the, the demons in the form of donkeys, then being thrown here and there, they just started to pass stool, left, right, and center, and um, the trees kind of collapsed. <laughs> what is the meaning behind? Stand up quickly. What are the deep meanings I want to know? Who are donkeys and what is flesh and he is very senior devotee of Swamiji, serving Swamiji for so many years in Australia, here and there. And he is a person to listen here. <laughs> so, uh, he is a person I don't know so much of the deep meaning, but something a little bit that the, uh, the donkey mentality, the S9 mentality that we have uh, to to take, um, to take without <clears throat> first offering to Krishna and um, the, the donkey carries so much load and there's things around that the donkey has to carry on their back. So uh, Krishna and Balaram try to kill the donkey, the mentality that that is within us. Thank you. Can you? But no in problem. So the significance of Dhenukasur, the significance of Talban Lila, Balade Prabhu, he killed Dhenukasur in one demon form of donkey. Donkey, they be healthy during summer season and become lean and thin, they get skinny during a rainy season. Why so? Because donkey is so foolish. 
they think that we graze very long distance in summer season because in summer season there is no grass at all. They are thinking how oh, we graze so long distance so they become fatty and healthy. And in rainy season plenty of grass. They think oh we graze only couple of yards only. So we are not satisfied yet, our stomach is not full. So they get skinny. And they are so foolish. In Indian mountain area, none can go there, there is no vehicle can go, then donkeys can go there very easily. The owner of donkey, they keep their load on their top of their back and carry up to that mountain. But then they could not test it. They can carry so many dirty clothes. And washerman. They clean it and put their back again. They have never they, they given they given never chance to <coughs> use their clothes for donkey. So they are only carry loads. They don't know what is the essence of this load. Then is cloth or then is sugar, so many things. So who are not doing Krishna, who are not in Krishna consciousness, they are donkey. <coughs> if we not do bhajan, if we are not follow the one of her guru, then we are all donkey. Why Balade Prabhu kill donkey, not Krishna kill donkey? Why? Because who are not doing bhajan, Krishna, they are all donkey. If they surrender the lotus feet of Gurudev, then they are like-minded donkey can be removed from ever. So we have to take shelter at first, bona fide Gurudev. So Baladev Prabhu is root of all Gurus. So if we surrender ourselves in lotus feet of bona fide Gurudev, then he will take remove all the bad thing like donkey. And this donkey is so foolish that if you keep them one side and just like one story in history, once one donkey, bar, donkey man went to mountain and he forgot to bring his robe how to tie the donkey. Then he came to one saintly person, oh I am in a great danger, I could not come back in downstairs, now I am mountain this deep night, dark night, what shall I do? Then Mahatma told, how you bind your donkey. He told I make a wife, put one nail and tie it rope with his hind leg. Then suddenly person told you can do same. But I have no rope. But no need of rope. You can do, you imitate without rope. He did so. And donkey was stand for a long, for whole night. And next day he tried to at his best to <coughs> drive him from there, drive him. But donkey is not coming. Then he went to Sandli person again. Oh Mahatma, what mantra you given today, yesterday? And now I could not drive my donkey anymore. Well, you have to untie. Well, there is no rope at all. Well, I know. But this is the trick. The donkey is so foolish. You have to untie it as a usual. Then you can drive him. He did so, then he start again. So donkey is so fully. So if, are not do, if we are not doing bhajan, we are donkey. So if we surrender ourselves, the lotus feet of bona fide guru dev, he will kill, he will remove our donkey minded mood, then ignorance, then we can advance in Krishna consciousness. Donkey is symbol of ignorance. So we shall surrender ourselves to the lotus feet of guru dev and we will serve guru dev, then we can advance in Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna. Bancha kalbata rubhas takripa sindhu bhaya vacha vaita nang pavane bho vasna vibho namo namo So here, the tongue is Dhenkasu is a demon always engaged in sense gratification. They were God of that garden. This world is garden life. They think that my master comes is master of all these things. 
he can test only and we can. But not any devotee can test. You should not use in Krishna or in giving any devotees. So Dhankasur was doing like this. Dhankasur is the embodiment of ignorance. That is why he was. I am master, Arkans Maharaj is only master of all these things. Krishna is not master. And devotees, we cannot give any devotees these things. Also, there is a, a speciality in donkeys. <coughs> they can sing in sweet rag rag melody. You know? Where is have you seen Indian donkeys? Oh. How how they can sing? Yeah. How? Like this. <laughs> always, always following she donkey. And she donkey what then? He gives some rewards to that. By hand left the sing. So many kicking in this. And their mouth becomes like swelling. But yet they never fall. And she will also kicking, kicking, kicking. So we are like donkeys. If you are not serving Krishna and only going to uh, make sense gratifications. So we should try to be like a human person. Don't be try to be any ignorance or all these bad things. If it is and you have offered yourself to Krishna and Baladeva Prabhu, Baladeva Prabhu is like Guru and he will help us. Oh, this is all nonsense and ignorance. You will not be happy by these things. You should give up all these bad things and come towards chanting Hare Krishna, serving devotees, and always in <coughs> what? association, good association. They can save you, otherwise not. So, Baldev Prabhu can kill that donkey, ignorance, Gurudev. But Gurudev should be so qualified, not Kalijibhi Guru who is himself pursuing dung, sea donkeys always <laughs> and kept by all these sea donkeys, how he can say others? So we should try to take fully surrender in the lotus feet of Baldev Prabhu, that is Gurudev and he is. Gaur Praman. You can now test drama. Play any? <laughs>